I'm Peter Jenkin. I'm a specialist palliative care nurse practitioner. I've been nursing for over 28 years, so I'm a registered nurse. I've done extra study. I've got a master's degree um, and a lot of extra training, which allows me to operate outside of the scope of what you'd expect a registered nurse to be able to do. The last five years or so, I've worked for Rest Haven. It's a big not-for-profit aged care provider in South Australia. Rest Haven have been doing all sorts of things to improve the palliative and end-of-life care in the organisation. My role is to come in and just help step back and look at the bigger picture and then come back and focus on what is important for the resident or the client themselves. My role is also about not only coming in and doing consults, but working with the staff as well. If I come in and visit a resident in an aged care facility and carers are providing care at the same time, I'll bog in and help. Rest Haven as a group feels like a family. Everybody knows their residents. Peter and I became old mates almost immediately um, once we realised that we had similar goals with our patients. He has some fantastic knowledge. Sometimes it's harder as a GP because my, my job is keeping people alive as much as possible. Peter is very good at coming in and seeing things through that end stage lens and saying this is what we need to do to make someone comfortable, this is what we need to do to preserve dignity. The process of dying can often be very uncomfortable. You have to take a really broad approach to looking after people when they get to that. You need to be able to have honest conversations about the end because not only do you want someone to not be in pain but you want them to feel like themselves for as long as they possibly can. Being with Rest Haven as an employee, I'm one of the team. And so not only can I come and, and make these, these do this, this clinical role, but I can influence clinical policy, development of procedures in a way that I couldn't otherwise. I'd really encourage people to come into aged care in the palliative care area. For organisations, I think importantly, just embracing a model that covers palliative and end of life care is something really, really important.